We're in Latvia testing out some electric vehicles. But not these. We're testing these ones. Four o'clock in the morning. We're going to the airport. We're both very tired. We've just lugged this massive bag of stuff outside. This is everything we've got for Carton in Latvia. What have we got this much stuff? We're going to be boarding a flight in two hours and trying out these two hopefully amazing electric cars. So we have made it to Latvia. We are testing out some electric go-karts they look quick we've been invited out here by blue shark race who make an electric race spec go-kart we try to push as high as possible and our goal before four years was to reach kind of uh, average racing petro cart performance and the performance of the carts, you can imagine, they can go up to 135 kilometers per hour. Uh, torque is 120 newton meters from the engine. There's no shifting, there's no gears, just pure acceleration from zero to 135. The weight is a little bit over 100 kilograms, which are not like 200 or something because of the batteries. And you will see this in the track. What's the average lap time? Usually they go 30 something, 37, 30. A wet Sorry, three like. minutes. <laughs> oh, off we go. Wow! Woo! They are insane! I've never been in a car like it. That was absolutely incredible. Um, I never thought an electric go-kart could go that quick. But that is incredibly quick. And on a wet track, it's incredibly fun. Still shaking. Adrenaline. <laughs> Adrenaline's like right up there, yeah. I just thought on uh, the, the handling's really good, the brakes are really good, the acceleration's incredible. Like, uh, it's just, especially on that straight, uh, is you can put your foot down and it just goes, it really goes. All you feel are the rumbles from the track, you don't feel like the engine or anything because it's just a battery. Um, I really enjoyed that. <laughs> it's your turn now. Release. Yes. Yeah. And then forward. 100% yeah. you have now. just happened same corner yeah of course <laughs> and you told that you knew it <laughs> is that it's well be <laughs> but it's exciting yeah I thought I was bad oh it's just got again it's just got again <laughs> I thought I was bad I thought and track track is drying you know track is dry it's getting drier yeah, it's getting better but he's still spinning you know <laughs> <laughs>
That's crazy. There's just so much like talk. As soon as you put your foot down, you just go. And like coming out of a corner if you don't have any throttle control, which I famously don't, you just go around. It's just yeah, insane. So quick. And when you're in a Rotax car and you you know you lose the revs, it just takes ages to get going. Whereas in this, it's just foot down and you going straight away. You uh, made a bit of a mess. <laughs> yeah, I spun around a few times. A few? Yeah, I was very confident that after watching you I'd be fine and then... Uh, <sighs> yeah. Wasn't. Yeah, you, funnily enough, you had a spin on the same corner yeah, that I did. Yeah, several yeah. I think. Several, yeah. And this corner, yeah. this one here, you seem yeah. to... Yeah. Consecutive, I think every, out, every yeah. lap. <laughs> every lap he spun, didn't you, I think, there? <laughs> wow. Wow. Five laps and we've used... 6% of the battery, which is hardly anything, there's still 94% of the battery left. So, and that's from five laps. Five very quick. <laughs> okay, so as the weather dried up, I thought let's get back out on the track and see what these carts can really do. Uh, you can see I've still got wet tyres on, but the wets from my suit have come off. Uh, just warming up the tyres here, getting myself ready to try and do as quick a lap as I possibly can <laughs> without spinning. Uh, safe to say I did manage to do that just, but you'll see how much of difference it makes with the weather. And also it really shows the true potential of these electric carts. Coming down here felt really, really quick for me, but you've still got to just think about those corners because as you can see there's there's puddles everywhere all over this track this was a pretty nice track to race on actually it's called Jolgava and it's about 20 minutes away from the airport not too far if you fancy a quick race in Latvia. Here it's really quick coming down here and you've really got to watch for this corner that seems to come from nowhere. Just saved it there. But what's interesting with these carts is you can build your momentum back up so quickly. You just tap your foot and you're away. Now we're coming up to what is probably my favorite part of the track, the corner just before this straight where you can really build up your speed. And I really put my foot down here. And then remember about that corner, well, look what happens now. Yeah, <laughs> I lose it. So this is when my cart literally ran out of battery. I'd run it dry. There's no juice left. It's just hitting 0% on the battery. Uh, so I come to a very slow halt. Uh, but one thing that I've noticed with these electric carts is that no matter whether you're on 100% battery, 1% battery, the performance stays the same. It's still hitting those revs. You're still getting maximum power from the cart. Uh, that's one thing that I was really impressed with, with these electric carts. Um, but then when it hits zero, you've just got to charge it back up or replace the battery. Uh, most people who have these kinds of carts carry two batteries with them. Um, but yeah, it, it gave everything right till the last percent. So uh, yeah, I was really happy with that. Okay, here we go. It was my turn again. The track had really dried up, as you can see. So we ditched the wet tires and put on some slicks and I set out to see what I could do in the dry. There's still a few damp patches and wet patches on the track, but I could really start to attack the corners a lot more, more than I had been able to do at any point during the day while it was wet. We're looking at some highlights from two of my quicker laps from the drying session. The battery was definitely starting to run out of power. I think when I finished it was about 4%. 
but credit to the car and to Blue Shark, it doesn't lose any performance whatsoever as the battery starts to die. So you get, for all 100% of the battery, you have full performance of the car, and then once it goes, it goes. But the battery life was great for, I think it's maybe 32, 33 laps or something like that across the day. Um, and obviously you can get extra battery packs to change, so I think it's a two or three minute change, which is amazing. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed driving on this track, it was really good fun. Um, I think I'd have liked a little bit more time in the dry just to get used to it. Um, but yeah, lots and lots of fun driving on the track. I'm going to let you enjoy the last couple of corners before I had to come in. Really enjoyed that. That was amazing. Sunny now, it was wet earlier. We had every weather imaginable. It's like being back in the UK, four seasons <laughs> yeah. in one day. Um, we hope you enjoyed that. That was yeah. something a little bit different, flying it here, Chinese electric carts. Thanks to Blue Shark for inviting us out. It's been amazing. They've been brilliant, yeah. really, really good. We also shot a little head-to-head -head race, a little head-to-head -head <laughs> five-lap race in the wet, which uh, will be coming out soon. And um, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. See you then. Bye. Look what they have done. Seems that they had some fun. They were spinning from beginning, but afterwards it's getting like... Look, looks good from the side. From beginning like amateurs, in the end like race drivers. You know.